I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. There's been a whole lot of stuff going on, and Trump has been complaining about this case that's going on here. And it resumes tomorrow. Trump will be back in Dodge, back in New York tomorrow. He wants to testify. There's no real, any other normal person, but Trump takes advantage of this. You know, there's an old saying in, you know, in the media business and in the, you know, publicity building business. Any uh, publicity is good publicity. Even if they're talking about, if they're saying bad things about you, you can turn around and if they give you an opportunity to give you a shot, you can make it good. So Trump is using all these trials as campaign stops. So he's raising holy you-know-what here in New York City regard, before Judge Kaplan regarding E. Jean Carroll. And uh, he's already been found liable of rape, but because it was a civil trial, it wasn't a criminal one, he didn't go to jail for it, but they charged him five, $5 million. So he'll be back tomorrow. Anyway, we got a clip of Trump going off the rail about the judge, about E. Jean Carroll, about me. No, not about me. Go, go Mr. Andrew, let's go ahead. Well, thank you very much. So, uh, as you know, uh, the First Lady's mother passed away. The funeral is tomorrow, and we would have assumed that for a trial like this, it's not an emergency in terms of timing. Uh, the judge would have been very nice and would have let me go because I want to be at every trial day. Uh, because I saw what happened in the first one where I was asked not to go by the lawyers very much. They said, it, it's demeaning. There was no evidence. There was no anything. And so I didn't go. And I understood exactly what he meant when he said it was demeaning. There was no reason to go and you shouldn't go. And I decided on this one, same judge, same judge. He's a radical Trump hater. And uh, I said, uh, I will go to all days. So what happened very terribly is we asked to just delayed the trial for one day so I could go to the funeral tomorrow and then we could start Friday or Monday or any time they want. Then he said, absolutely not. The trial will go on just as it is. You can go to the funeral or you can go to the trial, but you can't do both. I thought it was terrible. I thought it was terrible. So he would rather have me miss the funeral. Uh, oh, oh, uh, um, you know, the, I, I hear what Trump is saying. And, um, you know, the, the judge wouldn't let him go to the funeral, wouldn't stop the trial so he can go to the funeral. The issue here, however, is that Trump is not required to be at the, the trial. Um, now, of course, it's his, it's his prerogative to be there. He, you know, it's his right, I should say, more or less, than a prerogative, to be there uh, at the trial. But it's not mandatory. And to stop the trial for his mother-in-law's funeral, I guess that would have been a noble thing to do. But people, Trump, people don't like you. Hey, hey, Orange Jesus. I don't know if I call him Jesus, but I, you know, it's an, it, listen, Orange Jesus, hey, Trump, you need, to, you need to understand something, boy. The judge don't like you. New York people don't like you. Hell, I don't like you, Trump. So we're not going to give you any days to go to the funeral. We're going to stop the trial for you to go. Go to the funeral and the trial will go on. You don't have to be anywhere. We just prefer that there be a whole lot of funerals so you don't come to trial. Because you are a menace, Trump. We don't like you. We don't like you. We don't like you lie all the time. We don't like you a scam. You are, we don't like you because you are a scam artist. And I don't like it because you lied to me. I don't like it when people lie to me, Trump. Hey, boy, I don't like it. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said you lied to me, Trump. Told me you were going to find that Obama birth certificate. And the moment you started running for president, first thing you said was Obama was legit. I don't like you, boy. I don't like you, Trump. I'll tell you that now. And I don't like Ivanka either. None of the rest of that clan of yours that hangs out with you. So ain't nobody going to stop no trial for you. So let's get past that. But that's just what the rest of me says, because he's a con man from way back when. Or go to the funeral, Mr. Trial. And that's a nasty man. He's a nasty judge. He's a Trump-hating guy. 
And uh, it's obvious to everybody in the court. It's a disgrace, frankly, what's happening. It's a disgrace. It happens to be a Clinton appointment, but I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. So that's as to that uh, second order of business. I'm leaving right now for New Hampshire. We're making a big speech up in New Hampshire. We just got a poll in that uh, shows me leading by a lot. And I think we'll do there, maybe similar to what we did in Iowa. Uh, the difference is that in New Hampshire, they allow Democrats to vote for whatever reason in the Republican primary. And they also let uh, independents vote in the Republican primary. So that is a big difference. But we have uh, a nice journey. It's going to take place in about five minutes when I'm finished with you people. I'll be leaving for New Hampshire, in other words, right after this. And then as to the trial today, it was a very interesting All right, okay. day. All right, I do remember what they say. All right, so this was yesterday. He said this the other day. He said this. But let me say this. If Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley or whoever else, the Vic Ramaswamy, who is, that, that boy needs to be put in an insane asylum somewhere. He got all that money, right? And, you know, anyway, so listen. The, the deal is, is, is this, is, is that Trump, the, the, if anybody had ever just, if, if, if that Chris Christie, the former governor of New Jersey, former district attorney for the state of New Jersey, who laid in on Trump and told the truth about him. And if all the other Republicans would do that, uh, then I would, the question would be, if, 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 if Vivek Ramaswamy or, or Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley had one and just said the same thing, the truth about Trump, because he's a liar, everybody knows he's a scam out, he's a con man, everybody knows that he's twice impeached, 91 counts, four indictments, everybody knows that about Trump. If, if they had just come down Main Road and said the man is a danger, you know, he should be in a straight jacket, uh, would that have stopped Trump? I don't know that it would have. I mean, everybody's saying that, that Ron DeSantis should have said something, should have been more attacking him, and, and what's her name, Nikki Haley, should have been attacked. I don't necessarily, I don't know that it would not have, but I don't know, because here's the problem. See, all the MAGA people, all them people with the red hats on would make America great again, all them people right around that, all that support Trump. Well, they already know that about Trump. I mean, tell me something new about him. They already know Trump is a con. They already know Trump is a scam artist. They, they already know that. I mean, for Nikki Haley to say it, well, okay, she said it, but you wouldn't be, there wouldn't be no breaking news. There wouldn't be no new news. I mean, if Ron DeSantis had said it, okay, fine, he said it, but it would, it would represent, a, I guess, an ounce of courage in the boy. But everybody knows Trump is a scam. You think them, you think them MAGA people don't know. And the other thing is this, that Trump, that Trump won the election for 2020 over Joe Biden by time Biden. I mean, I mean, if you believe that, I got a bridge in Brooklyn. <laughs> I, want to, I got a bridge in Shannon, North Carolina, a rent in North Carolina. I want to sell you that Trump won the election. And my, my thing is, I mean, my one thing, and nobody picked up, I haven't heard anybody repeat this, right? Because they know if they repeat it, they have to give me credit. The, the one thing I've discovered is this, is that okay? If you really believe, which I don't believe, I mean, if you if you are probably dumb enough, if you are probably stupid enough to believe that Joe Biden, with his old self in the deep state, was able to steal the election from you, Trump, uh, while you were in office, you had the power of the CIA, the Attorney General, you had the Navy SEALs, you had everybody, and yet you let Sleepy Joe steal the election from you while you in power? I mean, is that what you're saying happened to you while you were the president and Joe Biden was in his basement in Delaware, was able to steal the election for you while sitting in his basement in Delaware, while you were sitting in the Oval Office eating Kentucky Fried Chicken and McDonald's hamburgers and a Diet Coke? I, we don't need this president no more. If you let that happen to you then... So the people that go for that line, the hook line, the sinker, I, you know, I, you know, I was, I was I said, well, you know, I just, I try to, I can sympathize with the MAGA people because I don't want Black Lives Matter and LGBTQ and the, the squad running America either. So I sympathize, but then I had to get off the train when I realized that they now gonna now say that the Trump the election was stolen 
they know the election wasn't stolen. They, they know that Trump lost it. He lost it because he's a psychopath. That's how come he lost it. He lost it because he was a liar. That's how he lost it. He lost it because Ivanka Trump voted against you, Orange Jesus. That's how human you lost. And me, I'm James Avery Manning. But I'm going to let you listen a little bit more. Go ahead, Mr. Engineer. Uh, as you probably noticed, it's a big story that the uh, witness today, the a person I never knew, I never had anything to do with. It's a totally rigged deal. This whole thing is rigged. Election interference. But this is a person I have no idea until this happened, obviously. I have no idea who she was and nor could I care less. It's a rigged deal. It's a made-up, fabricated story. Well, they found out today that she got rid of a lot of evidence, as you probably noticed. She got rid of massive amounts of evidence and in addition to that, she had a rifle or a gun uh, because she said she bought gun bullets or rifle bullets. All right, and it was the no, opposite. No, 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 that. that Eugene Carr, <laughs> rifle and book destroying, destroying information. All right, so the reason why Trump lost is because Ivanka and that her husband, uh, you know, voted against Trump. 